But how does this compare to other technologies, the XRF technology, and then obviously you have the assay testing? Yeah, so I mean, right off the bat, XRF is a super cool technology, um, but it doesn't penetrate very deep. On, on a good day, an XRF device will go 10 to 15 microns deep, um, and our weakest sensor goes about 10 times deeper than that um, on the Precious Metal Verifier Pro. And so the onboard sensors here are actually testing all the way through the sample. There's no way for an insert or counterfeit metal to hide from you at all. So what does that tell you, Parker, when you see that reading? That to me uh, means that there's some sort of counterfeit metal in there. Now we just call it a questionable sample. We don't like to point fingers or anything like that, but we say it's inconsistent with the alloy that it should be. It's definitely not 22 karat. And based on the readings, it does look like it's got tungsten in it. So that one would require further testing. Obviously. Yeah, and I, I always live by the, the idea that every sample should pass every piece of testing you put it through, and this has already failed the first test. So I, I wouldn't trust this piece, uh, even if it went through other testing.